Okay guys, so literally just announced, this was literally just tweeted from Pokemon Go. Trainers, scan the skies and the world around you. More Pokemon, originally from the Hoenn region, are coming soon to Pokemon Go. So, they literally just announced the final Hoenn region batch of Pokemon coming into Pokemon Go, and we should see them very, very soon. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Discover Rayquaza and more Pokemon originally from the Hoenn region. So this is a lot to break down. In fact, I'm going to do a separate video that's more in-depth with all the details, the Rayquaza raid guides, all the Pokemon that we're going to be able to see in this wave um, in another video. But as of right now, let's go ahead and dive into what they have to say. Trainers, prepare for exciting new adventures as you encounter even more Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region. On February 9th, alongside several flying and dragon type Pokemon, will appear in Pokemon Go for the very first time. The legendary Pokemon Rayquaza will descend from the Ozone Lair and become available in raid battles for a limited time. This is so sick. Um, in celebration, Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region will take over wild encounters until February 13th. Don't miss this unique opportunity to catch the powerful Pokemon such as Salamence, Altaria, Metagross, and more. The legendary Pokemon Rayquaza will be appearing in raid battles near you until March 16th. So we have until March 16th to catch Rayquaza. So that's pretty, that's a really a long time. It's a little bit over a month. So we have a little over a month to catch Rayquaza, which is really good. You'll also have a chance to battle the legendary water type Pokemon Kyogre before it swims away on February 14th. Will you be the first to catch all three ancient legendary Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region? Even more surprises await nearby. In addition to these Pokemon being available in the wild, you might see some different Pokemon in raid battles at your nearby gym and from hatched eggs. So, they also confirmed new raid bosses along with Rayquaza becoming a level 5 raid ball so that's interesting right there with all of these Pokemon to catch and power up it's important to stock up on supplies starting February 9th new special boxes which include raid passes incubators and star pieces will be available in the game store until February 23rd in addition lure modules will remain activated for six hours until February 23rd that is so sick so we're getting six hour lures we're getting new boxes we're getting new Pokemon the hype is so real guys I literally before I started recording this I was like screaming like a girl for like a good three minutes I, I was trying to like manage my hype so I can actually record this part of the video so it says get out there and make progress in completing your pokedex as you're outside exploring the world be sure to share your favorite AR photos and best catches using the hashtag Pokemon go on your preferred social media channel so guys that's it starting tomorrow I think yep today's the 8th so tomorrow February 9th Rayquaza Metagross Salamence and the final wave of generation 3 Pokemon will be available in Pokemon Go I'm gonna assume it's gonna be around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or something around, along those lines but I will definitely keep you guys updated when this new wave officially drops in the game so that's gonna do it for this part of the video also if you guys want to stick around I did another video just before this one about the updated EX raid system so if you guys want to check that out um, go, you can go ahead and skip to the time I post below for when that, that actually starts so you guys can go ahead and check that as well and um, that's gonna be it guys get ready for some brand new dragon type Pokemon finally available in Pokemon Go I'm gonna be doing a separate video in depth breaking all this down but right now we just got I want to get the news out there new Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go now let's get into the latest EX raid update what is going on fellow Pokemon trainers DX1 here coming back at you with another Pokemon Go presentation and the ever-changing saga of the Mewtwo EX raid system has turned another chapter let's break this all down Okay, so let's start all the way back to the beginning of today, and then we'll work our way up to the good stuff. So, today around 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so at the time you're watching this, yesterday at around 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, our friends at Pokemon Go Hub dropped the latest article, New EX Raid Triggers Based on Level 10 S2 Cells, Not Level 12 S2 Cells. So, Niantic has changed the EX Raid system again. Yesterday's wave of invitations was a steep departure of what was previously observed, and the same thing goes for the way EX raids were triggered. First of all, let's take a look at the stats first and foremost. So, level 10 cells, this is what they're using now, are 81.7 kilometers in size on average. 
level 12 S2 cells are 5.7 kilometers in, in size on average. So guys, this is a huge, huge change. So take a look at these two images. This one represents level 10 cells. You can see the boxes are huge. This is what they used to use. Level 12 S2 cells. You can see the boxes are a lot smaller. They're a lot more compact, which allows for a lot more opportunities to find gyms that are labeled as parks on OpenStreetMap so you can find those parks and go and bombard those gyms with activity and see if you can force an EX raid. However, this is going to be different, a lot different if this system holds up. If they continue to use level 10 S2 cells, the system is going to be completely different. So here's what Pokemon Go Hub has to say about this. So. Yesterday, we have received confirmation from our readers and Discord researchers that this raid cycle used level 10 cells instead of level 12 cells. So as a result, the EX raids were triggered, but they happened over a larger area, and thus the number of potential triggers was reduced. So these are Pokemon Go Hub's thoughts. Although this will be an unpopular opinion, we are on board with level 10 cells being used for EX raids. The reduced number of cells leads to increased rarity and difficulty obtaining a Mewtwo, but makes organization and triggering attempts easier. If they switch from S2 to S10 cells permanently, and we should know this as early as next week, it will force urban players to diversify their raiding area. So I did a little bit of redditing, and I took a look back at the region cover sidewalk labs map. So this is what Philadelphia looks like underneath the new um, S10 cells, the new level 10 S2 cells. As you can see, the place is huge. These two boxes right here that cover, I think, western side of Philadelphia and then the eastern side of Philadelphia. These quadrants that we're now dealing with are huge. And there are so many gyms that you could have an EX raid forced on in this city. So just, just the level of comparisons. Again, this is more of a comparison on a more local level. So let's narrow this down. So this is level 10 cells. So let's take a look at level 12 cells. This is what we were previously dealing with. See, this is level 12. This is what we previously had to work with. So as you can see, the quadrant's a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and you know, you're, it's easier to pinpoint whether a gym is going to be labeled as a park on OpenStreetMap and is easier to be targeted when you have a much smaller radius to go by. So we went from these smaller quadrants to these much larger quadrants. Let's take a look at the huge space that we have right here. These are S10. You can just easily see the difference right here. So I thought that was really interesting. So literally the timing couldn't be more perfect on this one. So as I'm recording this episode, Niantic releases a statement Pokemon Go team, an update on EX Raid Battle invitations. So, with the latest batch of EX Raid Battle invites, we implemented a few changes to improve trainer and gym selection. Unfortunately, a bug was introduced when these changes were made, and as a result, some trainers were invited to participate in an EX Raid Battle at a gym they made. Future invites will better represent how the updated invitation process is intended to function. Most importantly, Trainers will also receive an invitation if they've completed a raid battle at that gym recently. So, we've also made a couple of changes that will impact the invitation process. First, we've made changes to the way gyms are selected. While well, EX raid battles will continue to take place in parks at sponsored locations, the number of gyms that meet the necessary criteria for an EX raid battle will increase. Additionally, the average number of trainers invited per gym will also rise, as we've made a few tweaks to the way that they are selected. Thanks to these two changes, more trainers will have the opportunity to engage with the EX Raid Battle feature. The quality of EX Raid Battles at these locations should also improve. To start, trainers with a higher level gym medal are now even more likely to receive an invitation for an EX Raid Battle at that location. Trainers who complete more raid battles at any location the week before EX raid battle invitations are sent will now have a greater chance of being selected. We appreciate the feedback many of you have shared over the past several weeks and apologize for any frustration the latest batch of invitations may have caused. We are constantly monitoring feedback. We are constantly monitoring feedback shared on various social media and support channels. So please continue to share your thoughts on your preferred channel as we continue to fine-tune this feature. So guys, this is 
a very encouraging letter, and I'm really, really happy that the Pokemon Go team decided to write this up, especially since they wrote it up so quickly. So they realized that they made a mistake on the last batch of EX raids, so this explains why we were getting EX raid passes for so many crazy locations and for gyms that weren't even for raids, they were literally for spinning the stop. Literally for any type of interaction with the gym, people were receiving EX raid passes yesterday. So I'm glad they came out and addressed this so quickly. And I'm glad they're letting us know what they plan on doing in the future. So it's going to be an interesting development over the next few weeks to find out how exactly to get an EX raid pass. But I think we pretty much figured it out right now. Again, I'm going to go back to the region cover map. So again, the quadrants that involve getting an EX rate has increased. So as they said, the amount of people that are going to be getting EX rate passes are going is going to increase. So therefore, there's going to be a lot more gyms. So this is probably why they switched from 12 S2 cells to 10 S2 cells. So now that we have a much wider radius of opportunity to get an EX Ray Pass. So I'm guessing that they no longer want us to go ahead and pinpoint exact gyms, but instead they're going to increase the amount of people that get EX Rays, and they're going to widely increase the amount of gyms that are eligible for EX Rays. So I'm really, really interested to see how this is gonna work in the future. But as of right now, all we know is that the latest EX raid distribution was a glitch. It was a mistake, and I had six says it right here that you know it was a glitch, and they did resolve it in the system. So the next batch, the next wave of EX raid invites should be better. Also, they did say they're going to be increasing the likelihood of trainers receiving EX raid passes. So a lot of things being promised from the Pokemon Go team, and we'll just see how this all unfolds within the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm really stoked to see what happens here. So, yeah, that's going to be about it for this update video, guys. Um, please drop a comment. Let me know what you feel, how you feel about this new statement from Niantic. Do you think they're just talking? Do you think anything that they're saying is really true? Or do you just think they're saying this to make us feel good about the EX race system? To try to keep us satisfied about things as they continue to tweak it? As far as I'm concerned, I'm just really stoked to find out how this is going to play out over the next few weeks. Because we're going to be seeing how the EX raid distribution has changed or how it is changing, then we're going to be able to make our judgments from there. So, DX1, signing out of this one. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.